Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, still here at Oracle Cloud World DC, where looks like a thousand people or so have gathered to learn about Oracle Cloud Services. And uh, my guest now is Steve Dahib. Steve, tell the folks at home what you do for Oracle and what kind of trouble you get into. <laughs> yeah, I get into trouble pretty much every day here. So I'm senior vice president responsible for the go-to-market for our PaaS solutions and our IaaS solutions. So in that role, I actually have the privilege of sort of working across development as well as sales to you know, create the right messaging for our products, determine who the right buyers are, package that up both to enable our internal team as well as to drive core messaging content to and through our customers. So it's a great role that I get to span development, corporate marketing, we, we, we work with very closely, as well as a sales team, so it's exciting. Now you did a presentation earlier today uh, can you either talk really fast and do the whole thing in about 30 <laughs> seconds, or just give me the key takeaway. If people, when people walked out of that session this morning, what's the one thing you hope they remember? I mean, the thing was like, why Oracle? So, you know, we talk a lot about why cloud, but ultimately the, 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 the you know, the, 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 the important question to get across to these guys is why Oracle? And I think we cover that in a great way. We talked about the transition to cloud, and then ultimately, what's the type of solution you might need that could offer you choice in terms of deploying on-premise or deploying you know, in public cloud? We have the big news today with the you know, cloud out customer and the Oracle public cloud machine, which gives actually users more option in terms of how they might be able to consume Oracle cloud machine. You know, very key, uh, or cloud services, and a very key focus on how we offer all three layers of the stack. So infrastructure is a service layer, platform is a service layer, then ultimately the software is a service layer. And I don't think any other vendor can paint that overall picture and that story the way we can. So we can take somebody on a journey to cloud that might start with infrastructure as a service and then move to app dev, you know, PaaS, you know, integration, big data management, and then connect to SaaS apps. Or we can talk, start with somebody who maybe has one SaaS app that needs to integrate that back to prem, or I need to connect multiple apps together, or I can use PaaS to extend and enrich that application and then ultimately move to full cloud IT. So the great thing is when you look at our offering and as uh, complete as it is versus our competitors, we have a great story for customers who are just starting that journey. Now, I know that you've probably done presentations like the one you did earlier today yeah. a lot in a lot of different cities. Can you think of, of one question that you may have gotten from an audience member that really sticks out in your mind? God, that's a hard one. You know the great thing about like the type of presentations I get to do where they're mostly keynote is people actually don't get to ask questions, which is really good. So I'm usually able to get off the stage right away. Um, but but mostly the questions I'll get is around our solutions. You know, we know, you know it's like, okay, we got a, a, a great variety of offerings, but I think being able to package them up into an all-up story, I think, is something that people appreciate because they can get eight different views from Oracle, you know, depending on the, the different people they talk to. Um, but I've been putting a lot of focus into how do we wrap that up into an or overall why Oracle story that I think is really resonating with people. Yeah. We're well down the path, and I mean the universally, towards, <laughs> towards digital transformation, yeah. and certainly cloud computing is, is you know, no, everyone's familiar with that concept. But what sort of anxiety points do you hear about from customers and, and what's Oracle doing to ease that anxiety? Yeah, I think, you know, I think the anxiety is, is people understanding that you know, there's probably a different, better way to do things and cloud actually presents that. So um, let me, like, like my own background, like I'm a three-time public company CMO. So like most recently, you know, I joined from a public CMO uh, position. And you know, if I think about the old way of doing things and trying to understand you know, who my customers were and maintaining that on Excel spreadsheet and really trying to optimize my campaigns or how I innovate or how do I drive customer experience or advocacy, it was harder to do. But when you think about something like cloud, which really goes to your digital experience point, all of a sudden it gives me an opportunity to aggregate all these different types of data. I can connect my sales data with my marketing data, with my HR data, with my finance, I mean not HR, my finance and service data, and I can get a very full 360 view of my customer. I can actually watch their behavior real time in terms of how they're interacting with my web or my social or how they're um, purchasing my products. And with those analytics, I can actually get deeper insight that allows me to take real time action um, you know, and engagement. But also I think um, 
you know, just sort of gives me insight that I wouldn't normally have before. So I think to me it's about the insight. Customers that can harness all these different types of data and based on that data can take, you know, you know sort of proactive and, and insight-led, um, you know, sort of actions with respect to making them more successful, whether that be driving better customer experience, whether that be operational efficiency, or whether that be how they innovate internally based on what they understand back from the market. You know, I think those guys are going to win when they can find a way to actually deal with all that data. And the best way to do that is actually cloud and, and sort of the full digital experience. There, we, we, you talked a little bit about digital transformation and certainly there, there's Again, people are at various points along that path, but is there a commensurate skills transformation for developers and architects to be able to mesh with the changes that are happening in the, in the landscape? You know, there's a couple things. I think one of the really good value props that Oracle has that I think is much different from other vendors is we can bring all of our developers with us. You know, so when you sort of think of how we've deployed cloud, um, I mean, this is our database. This is, you know, this is our middleware. This is Java in the cloud. And so our customers, while they might be moving to cloud to sort of optimize, you know, the time to set up an environment or what have you, they're still leveraging their same knowledge and skill set. This is full on Oracle database and full on Java in the cloud. And so I think it allows them to create more rapid environments upon which to develop on. And then of course we support third party languages and other things. But I think the core experience, the core assets, the core skill set, uh, the core knowledge they have with actually how to work to, with our products, you know, I think they just sort of bring that with them to cloud, which is great. Did you get a chance to have lunch yet? Well, I did it well earlier. I took a quick bite. The, the turkey wrap is delicious. Is <laughs> okay, that's good. I saw somebody munching on like a uh, roast beef sandwich, but it looked like some big old Fred Flintstone I thing. Missed I wasn't out sure. On the roast beef. Yeah, I'll definitely hit that turkey. Well, Steve, thanks a lot for your time. Thanks for stopping by and talking to us. I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. <laughs>